when it comes to getting dressed in the morning, there is nothing better than being able to go into our wardrobe, knowing that everything fits us perfect, everything is our personal aesthetic, and everything mixes and matches. For the winter time, it is getting cold here in Ireland. It is time for me to stock up on those winter essentials. And that is exactly what we're doing today. I've gone on H&M. I have six or seven pieces lying over here ready to try on for you, but I needed some winter essentials for my wardrobe. So I have picked pieces that mixes and matches with what I have already. So now we just need to try it on and see if it fits perfect. And hopefully it'll give you some inspiration on pieces you could potentially add to your winter wardrobe. Per usual, everything is going to be linked in the description box below. So do go and check it out if you have any questions. Tons of good information. But some winter essentials from H&M. Let's get stuck into it. We're starting out with the jumper because this is something that's really needed with us. And I can tell you the quality of this one is so, so, so nice. It is a lovely thick knit jumper, but the quality immediate as I took it out of the bag, it's just so soft and so yummy. You just want to cuddle up in it. It was a mixture of, let's see, there was polyester, there was acrylic, there was polyamide, and there's 3% wool in it as well. That's probably what makes it really lovely. I have gone for this one because I want one that's a little bit more of the oversized look, something that I can just pop on with a pair of jeans and I'm good to go. I love the fact that this one has the raglan sleeve, meaning there is no shoulder seam on it. It just goes straight into the long sleeve. It's a beautiful design on it as well, isn't it? And then it is smooth on the back. Now I picked this one up in a size of 3X and I'm kind of wondering why, because I think everything else I have lying over here is size XXL. I'm kind of between sizes on H&M at the moment. So, and I can fit some of the extra extra large from the regular section. Sometimes I have to go up in the plus, so it's kind of like, you can just try, that's all I can do. But let me jump into it and we'll see how this one works. I do wonder why I picked up a size 3XL in this one because it is quite big. I think I could definitely size down in this one. I do love the aesthetic of it. I love the length of it and it is so warm and so cozy. But I just think there's a bit too much material there. I think I could definitely have sized down. Even a size down, it would still be gorgeous. I love the sleeve detail on it. I don't think even though it's a Raglan sleeve that it makes me look too broad or too big. I really love this one, but I definitely need a size smaller. Quality is amazing of this jumper, so I actually think I will order another one. I haven't really been shopping blazers for quite some time, ever since I did my closet clear out. I just kind of felt that it was silly to have as huge of a collection of blazers that I do. So when I look for blazers now, they have to have a specific purpose. And this one has the purpose of the color. I'm in desperate need of something in the brown tones. This one has a bit more of a brownish grayish tone, but it is a brown. I just, oh, I love the color. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but I thought I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Plain and simple blazer, one button in the middle. It's just faux pockets we got there. It looks to be a little bit on the square side, so we'll see how it works on my body. But as I said, it is the color that I fell in love with. I got this one in the size extra, extra large. Normally blazers, I tend to kind of go down in size because I rarely close them and I want them to have a fitted look. So we'll see. Um, ingredients was a mixture of polyester and viscose and the lining is polyester as well. So let me jump into it. This blazer actually has a really good fit on my body. I'm very glad that I sized it to a size 2XL or the extra XL large, should I say. It has a great fit on my body. It is a little bit on the square side for what I personally prefer. I do like when they're a little bit more fitted in the waist. So when you're, you know, so it gives you a bit more of a smoother silhouette, but I really do like it. I think on this one, it's gonna come down to what the color actually matches with what I have in my wardrobe, because it does have that grayish tone to the brown, and I'm normally more about the warmer browns because I'm a spring or an autumn. I haven't quite nailed it yet, but somewhere along those lines. I really love the fit of it. I'm gonna test it out with what I have in my wardrobe before I make up my mind whether or not I keep it, but it's a lovely blazer. Trousers is something I'm very short of in my wardrobe and I thought while I'm looking for all the warmer pieces I might as well look for some trousers as well. Some of my favorite trousers in my wardrobe are from H&M so when I saw these I thought I'm going to give them a go. These are a pair of straight leg, a pair of trousers, they're what I would call a suit trouser or smart work trousers and they are just perfect for what I want them for. These ones are in a grey tone but I realized that the ones that I have hanging in my wardrobe already are UK size 26. I'm a 
UK size 22. I picked these one, ones up in a size 22 and I'm wondering now, are they going to be big enough? I don't think the waistband look very big. There is a little bit of stretch to the material, not so much in the waistband though, um, but they were a mixture of the polyester viscose with a little bit of elastane in them. But a size 22, let's give them a go. Yeah, I had a feeling that's where we were going with these. I could, if I really squeezed, potentially close these, but the side of my belly is popping out through the pocket and it's just pulling. Aesthetic-wise, I love these trousers. And as I think I might be reordering the first jumper that we had, I think I might just reorder these as well because quality is really, really nice. They do have, well, I was gonna say a nice fit, but obviously not in their tummy area, but in the legs, they have a really, really nice fit on my body. Yeah, so I think I would like to size these up. I really do like them. They're gorgeous trousers. They're not thick and winter trousers or anything like that, but you could always fix it with a pair of tights underneath it if you need it for the winter. But other than that, they are perfect. I think I'm going to order these ones up. Another jumper, once again, with a bit of wool in it. This one is the polyester, the acrylic and 6% wool. And once again, the quality, I am blown away by it. It is so soft, you can just tell it's good quality. This one, however, does have a drop shoulder, something I'm not keen on. But I figured as I was ordering anyway, I wanted to give it a go because H&M's return is quite simple, so it's not a problem. Once again, the long sleeve. And this one has another feature I'm not keen on personally. It has the slits in the front, meaning you can tuck in the front and then it's longer in the back. I hear all the stylists talk about it, that it's a rave, that it's great, but it's never really been my personal thing. So I thought I'm going to try it. Plain and simple on the back, but again, it looks to be that oversized look that will look fantastic with my faux leather leggings, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So let's give it a go. As much as I love the quality of this jumper, the fit on me is just not what I like. And I don't think I have to say much, but look, this is why I detest strap shoulders. It just makes your whole body look very droopy. And for those of us who are, I have kind of droopy shoulders as it is, but also I have a very large chest. So when I get drop shoulders on, it just, it's just such a nasty look on my body. I'm sorry, I don't mean no offense to anyone, but I really detest strap shoulders. Also, this kind of flat thing going on here, I, I still don't quite get it. I don't know if this is a good look on me, on anyone, really. I, I don't know. Doing a French tuck on this is kind of, I had to, see, when, it, when you normally do a French tuck, I just kind of take the front and I just tuck in there. And then on a jumper that's sewn together here, that would just kind of lie, you know, nice. But on this, it kind of sits like this. And then it looks like this loincloth kind of thing going on. Yeah. Um... I just don't think this jumper is for me, that's being honest with you. Quality is absolutely amazing. I am in love with the quality and I really wish that I would look great in this because I love the turtleneck on it and everything. This coatiness, it just doesn't look good on me. So I know even if I kept it because it's gorgeous and yummy and cozy, I still wouldn't pull it out of my wardrobe. I'd only ever wear it around the house and then there's no point. It has a bit of a loincloth to it, these high slits, don't it? Yeah, this one's not for me. The piece that started this entire haul is this blazer. I on purposely went in on H&M looking for a warm winter blazer. I wanted one that is warm enough to actually use as outerwear on a day when it's not freezing cold. And I found this one. It has 7% wool in it. It's polyester and acrylic as far as I remember. And it's just a blazer, but it is fantastic. I happen to love the color. It'll mix and match very well with everything else I have in my wardrobe. You got the two buttons in the front. I think I could open up these pockets. Yes, I think there is actually a pocket I could open up, which I'm going to do if possible. Into the long sleeve, couple of buttons and it is just straight on the back. Again, it has that bit of a boxy look and I can tell you the weight of this one it is heavy. It is heavy. Of course, it is fully lined, but it is one of those blazers that I can use as outerwear, and that's what I was looking for. Let's jump into it. Do you know when you put on a piece and it just goes, wow, the minute you put it on? Yeah, that was my reaction to this baby. This is exactly what I was looking for. A nice, thick, cozy outdoor blazer. 
I'm a little bit worried about the fit because it does seem like it's a little bit big on me. But at the same time, I'm only just wearing a basic t-shirt underneath now. I really should put one of the jumpers on and see how it works and then. And then I could always try it with a belt. There's definitely space enough in it. It is a little bit on the square side, but if you look at it as an outdoor, outdoor wear blazer, oh, this one is, this one is fun. I'm not 100% sure about the color though. I kind of feel that it washes me out a little bit, but the fact that it is open, I could always add a scarf that could give a bit more life to my complexion. This one is gonna be fun to style up and play around with before I make up my mind whether or not I'm keeping it, but it is definitely what I was looking for and the quality is superb on this one. I had to just show you with the big turtleneck underneath and this is perfect, absolutely perfect. I could absolutely still pop a belt around it. I do have plenty of space in it, but with a big, thick wool knit jumper underneath it, this is perfect. And it was just the aesthetic I'm looking for. I'm, I'm a little bit excited about this one. I have been on the search for a pair of faux leather trousers for quite some time. H&M had these and they had them in a smooth finish. Unfortunately, I was too late picking them up. So I had to contend with the ones that have the crocodile print on them. Now, the only thing is, as much as I love these trousers, I do not think that they're gonna be big enough. <laughs> I got the size 22 in like everything else and I just think they look so small. There is a bit of stretch in the fabric. In the waistband, there's a tiny little bit, but not enough because I have a big belly that needs to fit into them. I've been dying to try these forever. They do have the straight leg and they don't, they don't make too much noise. So I have really high hopes for them, but fitting them, I don't think so. Let's give them a go. I know I don't fit these, but listen to this. There is not a lot of noise out of these faux leather trousers. I know they don't fit. I didn't expect them to, but obviously I wanted to try them on. Oh, I am definitely going to see if I can get these a size up. The leg wise, they have such a lovely fit. And I think if we just got that size bigger up, they'll be fine. They are gorgeous, these trousers. I would have preferred, of course, the ones that were smooth and had no texture on them, but these one have that little bit of crocodile kind of texture in them but it's not so visible that I actually mind. Now they are a little bit on the shiny side, but I don't mind the fact that they're nice and quiet. Oh, I love these. I'm definitely reordering these, but that is all the pieces that I have for you today. I'm not really sure how many pieces I'm actually keeping. The two blazers comes down to how they mix and match of what I have in my wardrobe. That first jumper, I'm definitely ordering down a size and then I'm gonna order up the two trousers if possible. As I said earlier on, everything is linked in the description box and I will leave you with some more outfit inspiration from H&M around here somewhere on the screen. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.